Hello there! My name is Rilo Kai with Butcherbird Productions, and this is a quick tutorial on creases. I'm making this video after finding out about this feature in my first Blender Builds episode, which I will link in the top right and in the description. Go check that out if you haven't already. So, let's get into it. In short, creases are a value that you can assign to a mesh's edges that tell the subdivision surface modifier not to curve those edges when calculating in Catmull Clark mode. This has no effect when used with simple mode. To add a crease, by default, select the edges you want to crease, right click and click Edge Crease, or press Shift E, then move your mouse away from the edge until you are at a value you like. Or you can use this tool, but instead of dragging, you type in your value. Alternatively, select the edge or edges and in the top right under the item tab, look in transform, then edge data, and in the crease or mean crease section, type in a value between 0 and 1. 1 is a full edge crease and 0 is no edge crease. Keep in mind that if you want to edge crease a corner or vertex, you need to edge crease all of the edges connected to that vertex. Now, to remove an edge crease, you would think that you would just select the edge again and drag until it's gone, right? Well, it's really hard to do it that way, and sometimes it just flat out doesn't work. Also, using the edge crease tool and typing in zero doesn't always work either. Quick editor's note here, I think you're actually supposed to type in negative one, not zero, and that seems to work pretty well. But still, it can be iffy at times. The way you actually remove edge creases is using that crease mean crease value slider I used before. Just select all of the creases you don't want edge creased anymore and set that value to zero. Easy, but not intuitive. Also, just a note, when you use the solidify modifier in the edge data section, the values you set for crease inner, outer, and rim will add an edge crease to the new edge, old edge, and bridging edges respectively. This is true for when you have a positive thickness and a negative offset, or a negative thickness and a positive offset. The inner will be the old edge and the outer will be the new edge when using both positive values or both negative values for thickness and offset. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you haven't seen the Blender Builds episode, go check that out. I'm sure there's more decreases than just this, but I think this is a good start. If you know more than I do, let others know in the comments below. I'll like and pin those that I can. Speaking of likes, like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you on the other side.